they go doing me now? I'm still a talk of the town. Don't need assistance, I'm hooking them down. We turn the smiles into frowns. You can't hop out, then we clearing the crowd. I'm in my bag and it's hefty. That nigga love me, he never liked me. I'm on whatever. What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Brianna Imani, and you're tuned in to another Talk of the Town interview. And today, who do we got in the building? It's your girl, Cleo Trapper. What's yes, up, y'all? Yes. So, you here. Welcome back to New York. I know it's New York Fashion Week, <laughs> so you outside. Yes, I'm outside. And, and I know you can't stand up right now, but let's just do a quick drip <laughs> check. What you got on? Because you've been putting the looks together all thank week. Thank you. Thank so you. So, let us know like what you got on. Right now, I'm wearing some... Diesel shoes, the little diesel bag. Okay. This dress is from Zara, and this jacket is my bros. This is Vintage Parasite, his little, you know, uh-huh, brand, uh-huh. big brand actually. Little shout out to yeah, the black businesses. What I was meaning. Exactly. All right. Okay. Okay. Cool. So, what has it been like this week? What was like New York Fashion Week like so far? It's been busy. Uh-huh. It's been hectic. I bet. <laughs> Don't even get me started. Because <laughs> it's been messy. Like, you know, no, like messy. people be unprofessional. It just be a lot. It oh, no. A, it just be a lot. Really? Was this your first New York Fashion Week? No, this was my second. So I'm really still learning, like, uh-huh. for real, like. Well, you know? I, I have to give you a big shout out because I saw you in the Telfeezy, you, yeah. but that collab, you did that, you look good. Thank How did you. that come about? How did you get involved um, with Telfar Equipment? Well, I've been involved with him since like, I would say I went to his first like pop up in like 2017 mm-hmm. and then like the bag started getting really popular mm-hmm. and they had reached out to me and I'm like, oh, he be watching my stuff like, and then he invited me to host like a, um, like one of their Telfar TV things that mm-hmm, they do on mm-hmm. live, and that was real lit. So since then, like we've been real connected. So y'all been like, locked in since then. Yes, I so love Telfar. So what's your favorite like New York Fashion Week look so far? Like who's been killing it for you? You mean like for me? Like, like just in general. Me? In general. Well, okay. Or we gonna others. we gonna we gonna start it off with you because it is about you. So we are gonna start uh-huh. it off with your favorite look, and then I want to know like who you think got it this week. Okay. My favorite look was this um, set that I got from Aria. It was real cute. Mm-hmm. It had, like, um, spikes on the sleeve. It was just really cute. Like, it just gave all gave around really the colors. Cute. And uh-huh. then with my hair, I just... Was oh. that the yellow one? No, that with the yellow hair, but yes, it was a yes, green yes. outfit. It was okay, a okay, 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 okay. It was okay. So cute, oh, yes, I did see that. I think that was, yeah. like, the last picture you posted or something like yeah. that. But you was giving. Yeah. All right, so who do you think got it this week? Like, whose looks has just been... Doing what it needed to do. Mm-hmm. Santana been eating. Per usual. Mm-hmm. Santana been eating. I've been seeing him a lot on my page. I'm, I've been just... I've seen Koi. Koi been eating too. Jada. Mm-hmm. Jada I want to shout out Des too. Because Des, she was putting eating. them looks together too, for sure. Definitely. Let's uh-huh. not forget Des. Because she's been eating. I just saw her yesterday. <laughs> and I'm like, girl, it was the after party. Her tracks was giving. Yeah, nah. She really could put the looks together. I'm so I'm like, really not surprised. It fitting. <laughs> Period. <laughs> so if you had to describe your style, though, like how would you describe it? Um, My style is more like a... A 90s vibe. I'm like a a 90s, early 2000s, baggy jeans, crop top type of. I be chill, but like when I pop out, it pops out. Oh, yeah, and I, I really mm-hmm. think, like, you got the Y2K vibe. That's what you give me. Like, mm-hmm. even on your site, mm-hmm. I feel like the stuff on your site gives me Y2K, yeah. too. So, I mean, your style is one of a kind. You just one of a kind, period. But Thank you. But it's good to see you outside this week. Good to have you back in New York. So, for those who don't know, let us know, like, where you from. Oh, people be thinking I'm from Brooklyn, so I got to uh-huh. set that straight. I'm not from Brooklyn. I'm from Staten Island. I'm not from Harlem. I'm from Staten Island. It's really crazy because you do not give that at all. You do I don't not know. give Staten Island. You know anybody from Staten Island, though? I don't. So why do people, but when I, people don't know anybody from Staten Island but say I don't get Staten Island? You like, don't know anybody. Because not for nothing, and no offense to the Staten Island people out there, but I just feel like it's such an insignificant borough. <laughs> That for you to have such a big personality and really be like so heavily affiliated with like everybody in the city, I would not paint you as a Staten Island girl at all. And again, at I all. stand on what I say because if you don't know anybody from Staten Island, can't say that. But can't say that. Who like, does? I'm sorry. <laughs> no offense. No. 
<laughs> no <laughs> people from Staten Island. But Nobody in here knows how many Staten Island. How many people in this room know people from Staten Island? And he not knows Cleo. one person. Not, not, but not he knows Cleo. one person though. Alicia See, knows one person too. One person. <laughs> <laughs> You know, I right, fuck you. But you, you <laughs> repping them well. So that's a compliment thank that you, nobody you, would think you, that you're you from you. there. So what was it like growing up there, though? Like, what is the vibe like in Staten Island? You <laughs> <laughs> said it like, what is that? Like, it's <laughs> Mars. No. Where. It's cool, though. It's like, I feel like it's like every other borough. Because, mm-hmm. you know, we got our projects. I'm from Park Hill, so it's like. It's the hood. Like, you okay. know, we got the gays, we got the violence, we got the all that. Uh-huh. The fighting, the gun violence, all that heavy shit. You I know? just feel like it's just so inconvenient. Because if you don't have a car, you got to take the ferry to the city. That's just a lot. <laughs> <laughs> That's just a lot. The ferry is dead 30 minutes. I used to I used to go to a program in, um, in like, by the low, not by, no, by Soho at mm-hmm. NYU. And I'll take, like, the I'll take the ferry there and then get on the R train. And it wasn't too crazy for me like it wasn't too crazy and i was like 15 i was having a bowl honestly like but you couldn't really mm-hmm. like hang out too too much though right because it stopped running at a certain time you know? i mean why the fuck would i want to be in the city mad late at 15 the city is lit. <laughs> well not at 15 <laughs> like i gotta right. go <laughs> so when did you leave staten island what you mean, like, Because you moved. Yeah, I moved, like, two years ago. Right, so you're talking about 15, but we got a, a gap between when you was 15 and when you moved. So you still could have been outside in the city, you know. Yeah, And it's true. like, dang, I got to catch my ferry. True, but so I'm not going <laughs> to lie. It wasn't until I moved and started coming back where I would come out more. Because I mm. wasn't, like, I, I never really been to the club and shit mm-hmm. out here in New York. I probably been to, what's that shit called, Lust? I've been to that shit like one time, mm. and that was the only okay. Time I wow. ever been to any club, like you feel me? So it's not till I moved to the A, like I was really outside and shit. So what sparked that move for you? What made you move to the A? Um, <laughs> uh, I wanted to. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> nah. Okay. <laughs> oh my god. I got it. Nah, hear you. I moved because of a nigga. I oh, was, brother, do yeah. y'all still y'all still fuck with each no, other? No, we oh. don't. <laughs> we just stop fucking with each other. But okay, <laughs> all right. So I'm gonna save my question for after <laughs> after you done. I'm gonna let you speak your piece. <laughs> so you move for the girl. I moved to get away from him, and oh, okay. yeah, I moved to get away from him because okay. that now was really small, and I didn't want to see him. Okay, so everything was just like reminding me of him. It's a small place. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, because you say that you, I just got to stop you, because you said you moved to get away from him, but then you just said y'all just stop fucking with each other, so, what? (laughs) So, clearly, the move didn't do what it needed to do, because y'all still wound up fucking with each other. Yeah, take her mic. <laughs> right. She's making oh points. I can't. Right. I'm going to stay quiet. So you moved to get Ooh. away. You got there. Were you happy with your decision when you got yes, there? Yes, it was a good decision. I'm not going to lie. Moving to the A was like one of the best decisions I ever made mm-hmm. in my life. Mm-hmm, well, mm-hmm. I'm only 24, so it's like my family. Right. <laughs> but yeah, it was a good. It was a good move. Okay. So do good. you feel? Do you feel like your location kind of like determines how your career path goes? Like, do you feel like it's important to be in the right place to do what you want to do? Yeah, that's a fact. Because yeah. some people are like born in places that have shit going on and you need to go if you feel right. like this city's not for me there's right. a lot of people that feel like that you mm-hmm. feel me it's just they was just born in the wrong place i'm <laughs> sure because i'm sure there's somebody out there in like wisconsin with a whole lot of personality yeah, that want to be like, outside you feel me like, <laughs> wisconsin <yeah. laughs> don't let the wisconsin girls chew you yo first it's gonna be staten island in wisconsin i'm sorry y'all so what was like the biggest shock when you moved out there because i mean it's very similar to new york in certain ways but of course it's the South, oh, um, so it's different. People is slow, no shade. Ooh. <laughs> slow, <laughs> like, moving slow, slow, like, slow, not like moving there. slow, slow, like, they don't not be the getting the common nice. sense. The New York common sense and the Southern common sense is not the same. All right, give me an example. <laughs> <laughs> give me Chill. <laughs> Chill. <laughs> it just be a lot of shit where it's just like, all right, boom. I'm going to give you a quick example. Okay. So this girl wanted to do my hair, right? So she hit me up. She gave me the time. Da 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 da. I'm like, okay. I I think I love the time. She asked me what time, and I was like, all right. And then she said some shit like, I, 
I was already on my way. It was the time was for five o'clock. Mm-hmm. I'm already on my way to the place and whatever. I wrote him like, oh, um, ETA five oh eight. She's like, oh, I didn't know you was coming still. You didn't hit me up. What, that, what made you think that the appointment was just suddenly canceled and you gave you me a time? She's that? like, the wig is not even here. I didn't know you was coming still. The wig not being there is old. The wig not being there just means the you just wanted to take somebody else. Right. Like, what are you talking about? Because you don't want to do my hair, just say that. Like, what? Wow. Okay. It's just stuff like that where it's just like, girl, um, you must be a little... If you thought that was like, what? I read something that said that you still come to New York. And this was a little while ago, so it might have changed. But you still come to New York to get your hair done (laughs) by your old stylist. Is that still a thing? I do. Okay, see, you tried tried it. It didn't work, so you stuck to what you knew. That's my girl. But I be getting my hair done down there sometimes, too. Mm -hmm. My girl, Ellie, she be doing my hair. Okay, shout out to her. Yeah, when I'm out here, that's... That's, yeah, <laughs> that's how that goes. Okay, okay. <laughs> so, walk me through, like, your come up. So, Clear Trapper, we're going to start with that. How mm-hmm. did you make your name? How did Where did that come from? Well, my name came from Cleopatra, obviously, with a twist to it. Right. And that's just how that came about. It was like high school. We was just learning about her, and I'm just like, that name is cute. And I'm oh, that's interesting. Her. Okay, I didn't know <laughs> if it was like maybe it came from like your real name or something like that. Um, no, no, <laughs> that's interesting. So you just put a little twist to it, okay? Mm-hmm. And so you came up with your name. Was that before you started putting stuff out, or was that like what you mean putting stuff out like like content, your music, music, your content, or were you just like yeah, Cleo that Trapper was before. First, yeah, and it's always started. been Cleo Trapper facts. That was that's before anything. interesting because I feel like that's a name. So, did you know that you were gonna start like doing something eventually, and that's why you? Gave I it mean, something? it was my Facebook name, so it's like okay. <laughs> it was Cleo Trapper West, so it's like everybody's like uh-huh. has a name on Facebook, and people really will call you by your Facebook name too right, outside. Right. So it's like that was my name. Okay, okay. Mm-hmm. So then, when did you start making content and putting out music? Like 2018, both. Yeah. Okay. So, what was, like, the first video? I don't know if you remember the first video that you put out. But if you don't, well, do you? Mm-mm, okay. No. <laughs> I figured you wouldn't. But what was the first video that really started getting traction where people really The first started? video was the one when I was, like, save me a baby for the... That one, some... I think Winter... It was Winter from Bad Girls Club. She uh-huh. had reposted it and everybody started... And then like, started that was up. crazy. Like, I just went to sleep and I woke up and I'm like, wait, what the fuck? Yeah, everybody was that sharing. That shit was mad shit, crazy. Yeah, ever since then, it was like, yeah, to yeah. save me a baby father really had it. Because I feel <laughs> like that, though. Like, honestly, <laughs> I'm 26. <laughs> and I was just talking about it. One of my non negotiables <laughs> used to be funny. like, I don't want to have a nigga with a kid. Right. <laughs> and now, as I get older, it's like, damn. It's like, what's going <laughs> on? <laughs> it seems like the good it's niggas like, all got kids at this point. Exactly, and it's like, that's exactly what I said. Retweet as save me a baby father. Because <laughs> I don't know if there's a lot of niggas out there that don't got kids these days. Girl. So where, how do you get your inspiration for like your content? Is it based on like stuff you're going through in real time? It be everyday it? life. It be my friends going through. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I mean, like, bitch, you know that's the video right there, like, right? Because the people else to know what not to do, because you're wilding. Cause, like, yeah, I feel like you just be hitting on everything that it's like we be thinking or we have conversations about, and it's just like you post the video and it's like, exactly, like mm-hmm. you articulate it perfectly, but you also <laughs> funny, so it's like, yo, it's, I really just be talking my shit, like I'm talking my shit, like it's, it's like I'm talking to my friend, like, right? You feel me? And you see, that's what got me caught up, because. <laughs> I'm going to tell y'all, when I came in here, I was way too comfortable because I felt like me and sis knew each other already. And, so so I, and she's like, yes, I'm like, she said, who are you? <laughs> no name. Just yeah, Jane Doe. Like that was my sister. Wait, did you just call me Jane Doe? I didn't know who <laughs> you was. Much, and she's looking at me like. I'm sorry to this man. <laughs> I don't know who. And I'm like, damn. <laughs> damn, because in my mind, we just here. We, we was locked in already because already you just be hitting everything. Mm. So what has it been like for you? Because I'm sure I'm not the only one that has made that girl, <laughs> made that little I mistake. Mean, that wasn't, it gets crazier than that, girl. It, like What? Okay, hold on. <laughs> you know, I'm all for the examples. What happened? Like what? 
I remember I was at like a carnival. This was probably like two years ago now. And some girl just like, I could see her coming towards me. I'm just like, <laughs> like, why she coming towards me? <laughs> why she coming towards me mad, hype though, like, ready though. I'm just like, nah, wait, uh-huh. hold on. She just hugged the shit out of me, like, oh my God. Oh no. Like, yo, I'm like, relax, let's calm down. <laughs> Yeah, six feet. I feel like that's OD. The touching, uh, <laughs> like that is just an absolute no no. And I don't oh know my God. what would possess somebody <laughs> to not only so try crazy. to touch you, but hug oh you. Oh my God. No questions asked. She, yeah, she felt like she knew me. It's yeah, okay. you see, so but did I, but okay. not that much. That's OD. Okay. So, but like, what does it feel like? Because it's just like, you with everybody's like favorite artist mm-hmm. you like honestly as nikki said you really the bad bitch that all the bad bitches fuck with Period. honestly because you with everybody and it's like i don't nah, know if this is what so you funny. i don't know fact, if, though like but, it's a, no, for real. but and that's just it's just i feel like i just have that vibe though like mm-hmm. it's just a natural thing people fuck with me you feel me i don't gotta force nothing right. i don't even like i don't try to be friends with bitches i ain't gonna lie mm-hmm. but i love that the people that I love love me. Right, you right, me? right, right. Yeah. So, like, what when it comes to like your support, like, what does that look like behind the scenes? We know that you have a whole bunch of fans. We know that like everybody fuck with you. Mm-hmm. But on a personal tip, what does that look like from the people that you hold like close to you? Well, I get a lot of support from my family and stuff. Mm-hmm. My brother, I love him so much. He's always supporting me, always telling me, go hard or go hard. Mm-hmm. All that. My friends, too, they love me down. They always supporting me. Everybody mm-hmm. everybody in my circle really just, like, they really be there for me, for real. Like, And I love that. I love that, too. I, I love, love that, that for you. So when it comes to, like, back to your content a little bit, like, you have a lot of, like, quotables. Let's get the bill per. You know, you just have a lot of things that, like, we see and we just say in everyday conversation. Have you been in a situation where, like, people, like, say one of your lines back to you? Yes. I do be. I do not be in that shit all day. I be in those situations all fucking day. But (laughs) what I love that, like, I love that people just be quoting me. But Mm -hmm. people be thinking that I'm, like, this, um, like, a toy. Like, oh, say that. Right. Relax. (laughs) <laughs> she's not doing that and i'm telling you that right now she's not what i'm gonna look at you like you stupid just watch go. the video yeah like you but that's, <laughs> girl that's exactly what i was about to say you better go watch that video oh my god so then but the other side of that because of course people appreciate it but then there's also the people who take what you're doing and kind of like try to coin it as their own mm. and i say that because i know earlier this year you know you and the whiteboard there was like the Ooh. snl <laughs> skit and people were saying basically how they like copied off of your whole thing yeah. without giving you your credit yeah. how did you feel about that like how do you feel about when you see stuff that you put out there and it's like people taking credit for it when you were really the creator of it i mean Shit happens. I ain't gonna lie. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Shit happens. But everybody know who the real bitch is. Like, Okay, so we know who's coming. That's why everybody was tagging me. That's why everybody know, like, y'all did this. Y'all. As long as everybody know, mm-hmm. I'm good. Like, it's... Mm-hmm. Okay, so it don't really, really bother you. Yeah, I'm not really phased by it. Like, but at first I was like, what the fuck? But the fact that so much people was vouching for me and going mad hard for me, mm-hmm. I was like, yeah, y'all get it. That's very mature of you. And I think that I haven't le- reached that level of maturity yet. Because mm. I feel like for something like SNL, shout out to SNL, but like I feel like that's an opportunity to not only give credit where it's due, but like as a black creator, you know, we need every opportunity that's that a we fact. can get to like get our flowers. That's so a it should take somebody calling them out on mm-hmm. social media for you to like get the recognition that you deserve for that's something that you started, you know? So, another thing I wanted to touch on, too, I saw on your um, Off the Porch interview, you were talking mm-hmm. about how you used to get bullied when you were younger. Mm-hmm. Um, how does it feel now? I was, oh, was going to say, wait, hold on, because... Why, why? <laughs> I mean, I used to get bullied, but I wasn't one of them people that was like, you know? It was given... How can I explain it? It's kind of the reason why I'm so naturally funny today, because... Mm-hmm. 
you would talk shit to me, mm-hmm. but I'm going to roast the shit out of you. Okay. And that's like, okay. that was me. Like, people always come to me, oh, you mad black. You look like a monkey. All this. And now I'm going to fry you. Right, you know right. What I'm saying? But I'm just, yeah, like. Okay, so it wasn't really on, like, you. Was yeah, really, like, like, we finna be. Because I was oh, going to. Oh, Because I was Never. really, when I heard that, I was like, it's no way. Because I just could yeah, not see it. So I really was like. Shit, like, yeah. Okay. Because I was like, I got to ask her about this. Because I just level don't. To it. I can't. Okay. Cool. <laughs> but is there anybody that used to, like, try to talk their shit to you or anything like that back then that now they try to be on you or they try to all them bitches Mm -hmm. oh shit you know that shit all them bitches is on my dick now what i bet and what should we say do you feed into that do you ignore it i ignore that (laughs) what the fuck (laughs) i ignore that you look crazy as you should i don't even think like if i was in that position I just, my pride wouldn't even let me say one word to you. I might like it because I'm happy to see you doing Mm -hmm. your thing. But just knowing what I did, I wouldn't even. Like, like, bitches is just brave. Right. All right. So, we're going to play a little game. Of course, everybody loves hearing your thoughts on certain situations. Mm -hmm. So, I'm going to give you some scenarios. And you can either tell me what you would do in the situation or just, like, what you think about it. All right. So, the first is, like, let's say you fucking with a nigga. He got a kid. Everything is going good. His baby mother, a little problematic, but not too much. This off the dump? Yeah. (laughs) So one day, right? So one day, he get into it with her. They going back and forth. And she like, you know what? Fuck it. Bring your girlfriend outside. I want to fight her. Would you fight her? Or would you, like, what would you do in that situation? I would fight her. You would fight her? Unfortunately, that's how I... (laughs) That's how some of us are. You would fight for your she man. She should not your be man, calling me man. out. But she should not be calling me out. That's between y'all. Okay. Why are you so calling me the, out? It's the you got out. something. You got something against me for real. This don't even got nothing. Because you didn't say your sister, sister your you friend. You wouldn't even see me now. Uh-huh. Dead ass. Okay. So what if she don't call you out and they just like beefing and she yeah. like, I want to fight somebody. You still going to fight for him? Yeah. Who's she talking about that she want to fight if she know that I'm there? Who you want to fight? Okay, I just wanted to know, like, if you, you like, fight? I'm a fight for him. Or no, it's not about fighting for him. No, she, I'm saying fighting she, on his behalf. She's saying I want to fight somebody. Who is she talking <laughs> about? You're not wrong. Because, I mean, I feel like I want to fight somebody, could really stand for anybody, but as my man... She gotta be talking about me. Yeah, but who right. else is there though? You even mentioned. But you don't gotta be there. Me. You don't gotta be there physically. They could be uh, having this argument over the phone through text, anything like mm-hmm. that. But she, she says she want to fight somebody. Yeah, I'm asking who she want to fight. No Absolutely. <laughs> who does she want to fight? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Be crazy like so that. the next scenario is. It's a girl that be talking mad shit about you online. Like, mm-hmm. y'all got, like, a little... I don't want to say a rivalry because you don't pay it no attention, but any chance she gets to say something about you, she's going to say something, right? Mm-hmm. So, one day, you scrolling on your social media, and you see your friend post a story with homegirl as if they cool. <laughs> but it's already known that this girl be talking shit about you. And like I said, it's not a rivalry. It's just she be doing her little yeah. hating shit on the side. What are you going to do in that situation? I mean, I'm going to ask my friend why she will. You asking? Mm-hmm. Are you cutting her off? Is it I'm like- going to distance myself from her, too. Mm-hmm. That's a fact, though. I'm going to definitely distance myself from her. Because why would But you? I do, I am still going to ask. Like, if you know the situation, why are you with her? Like, what's right. going on? Right. Question mark. A question mark, question mark. Mm-hmm. Yeah, a few question marks after that. So, like, in a situation like this, and this is not me being mixy, but, like, what did you think about, you know, how... Um, she said this is not me Dream, being mixy. <laughs> Dream and Taina, they posted the video together, and everybody was like, oh, like, Dream fake for that because her and Ari supposedly cool. What did you think about that, if anything? I don't think. Now, how you say that? <laughs> I don't think. My brain turned off for that one. <laughs> Nah, honestly, I don't even know these bitches' lives for real. Like, let's be realistic. We, none of we us don't do, know what is going on. Like, we just seeing what we seeing. Like, mm-hmm. somebody probably did something or somebody that made them want to do something or vice versa. We don't know. Yeah, we bitches really don't. probably said mad shit behind doors. We don't know. Mm-hmm. So I ain't saying shit about that. Bro. I'm with you on that, oh, sister. Shit. All right. So next situation. 
you meet a nigga y'all out and everything, he say y'all gonna go out on a date, you know, mm-hmm. sometime soon. So y'all texting, the vibe is good, you know. Everything is copacetic. So y'all meet up, you looking good, you at your favorite restaurant, you order your food. He order like a little water and a side salad. But it's cool because you're not tripping too much. Maybe he's just not hungry. Nah, I hope he's not. So you eating, good conversation, everything going great. You know, you hit the, let's get the bill per. Oh, shit. The bill comes out. The waitress goes like this. And y'all both looking at it. Right? He don't reach for it. You don't reach for it, of course. No, and he look at you. contest. And say, staring contest with the bill. And he look at you and say, you the one that got all the food, not me. I beg so your fucking <laughs> party, bitch. <laughs> so he expect for you to pay the bill. What would you do <laughs> in that situation? First of all, <laughs> nah, that's mad fucking what sick. What would you do? God forbid, sis? yo. Not God forbid. God forbid, bro. I'm I'm getting a couple of and I'm throwing that shit in his face. Or some love. I'm paying the bill. Shit. I'm never talking to that nigga again. Cause I'm not gonna run out on the bill. You're a bum. You are a heavy. But I'm bum. like, I'm getting water <laughs> and I'm throwing you? it on him. Cause how dare you? How dare you? How it's dare the you? I be at my brother outside. You're a wild. <laughs> What's going on? Man, funny. That's mad so, crazy. So, what are your thoughts on like? When you going on a date, does the nigga have to pay every time? Is it just because it's the first date? Do you ever pay? I feel date? like if it's the first that? date, you definitely going to pay. Agreed. Like, what the fuck? And you're going to keep paying after that. I'm okay. like, I decide to take you out for dinner. Right. And I told you I'm going to take you out for dinner. Then, then the I'm paying for the bill. All right. If I say I'm taking you out to dinner, I'm not doing that. Like, what are you talking about? Like, you'll know if I'm going to treat you, babes. Like. But you should be reaching for the bill. If you're not reaching for, I, I will say I got this, but you reach. Right. Y'all you better not reach. You better have a staring contest about who Better take that fuck. shit. <laughs> better reach. So, all right, hold on. He a 10, but he want to go half on the bill all the time. All the time? <laughs> <laughs> like, the fuck? What, what's the, what's the new, what's the new? That's right mad here? crazy. Like, what the fuck? Like, I might as well date a bitch. Like, I'm a lesbian. Like, what the fuck? Wait, because you got me weak because, so, and did he, like, he not even on the scale? He not even, like, a two, a one? That's mad he crazy. He broke your scale, but not in a good way. <laughs> that's the mad crazy, like. <laughs> All right, so, like, guys, if funny. y'all watching, y'all know it's no half on the bill. Hold on, because she said it's not even funny. And she's dead ass. I just want y'all to zoom she in. She said all face. the time. Don't forget all that part. All the time. Like, he like, you know what? We in this together, babe. It's a 50-50 thing. <laughs> all right. <laughs> all right. All right. We going to move on to the last topic. So, damn. I hate that all of these about niggas. But you fucking. I'm saying. You fucking with a nigga. Right. Yo, I thought she was about to say, you fucking, period. <laughs> <laughs> like, yo, I'm like, wait, damn. You said, wait. <laughs> so right. you fucking with a nigga. And everything is good, once again. Y'all have a great relationship. Y'all haven't had sex yet or anything. But mm-hmm. everything outside of that is good. So one day, y'all decide, all right, time is up. Let's see what it's hitting for. And that shit is trash. Mm-hmm. Every sentence, like, any way... You could think of it being trash. That's it is mad, trash. Crazy. I think that's why. How, but how long they've been waiting to fuck? Um, let's say like, hmm, let's like say a year. <laughs> <laughs> a year. That's sick. Waited that's a year. And nah, what was they you know, It's still. It's they still. Was what was they doing? Kissing the death. Listen, it's still people nah, out here that be waiting until marriage. So a year There's that. <laughs> is really nothing to some people. But let's just say clearly it wouldn't be you just based on your reaction. <laughs> but, but if <laughs> nah, it was. Do that. It could be me. <laughs> but if it but was. If, we, if we're being intimate with each other, mm-hmm. it's going to be very fucking hard not to do something. 
Agreed. But if we're just going to be on some cool shit, vibey, da 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 then uh-huh. yeah, that's easy. Okay. So, it's cool shit, vibey for six months. And then the other six months, y'all, <laughs> really, cool shit, y'all, really, y'all really start fucking with each other. And then, y'all finally get there. The sex is garbage, basura, terrible. That's crazy. Now what? What happens at that point? You <laughs> said, <laughs> so now what? Like, where do y'all yeah. go from there? Don't fuck him again. I know I'm good. I ain't but gonna do you, lie. So, okay, don't fuck him again, but y'all still talking. Because that's kind of hard to like. That's not hard because. No, 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 no. Hold on. Let me clarify. It's not hard to not fuck him again. Because everybody know if you're not trying to I'm double gonna back. I'm going to gradually start like moving like he's my bro. Okay. Like he's my son. Like we not, not even. Son. Like we not that. And we never going to be that. You said trash, trash. Garbage. So you don't I'm think sorry, like, there's no way we could go with that though. You don't think that you could like now this is not something I think. I'm just asking you how you feel. Like you could teach a nigga like how to But you didn't say how up. was trash. Damn okay. You see you what, can't you like Okay, you, I didn't say how was trash, but to you, what would trash sex be? <laughs> and we gonna go based on that. <laughs> What's so what what would be trash to you? Trash will be little dick, no positions, just don't know what to do, just not doing it right. Uh huh. It's just it could be a lot of shit playing into that shit. I yeah. can't eat pussy right, but I feel like if a nigga could fuck right and just eat pussy trash, it's it's oh that's it's, tolerable. It's tolerable exactly, mm-hmm. but. If you're not hitting no <laughs> around you, I don't like No, that. not for nothing. I feel like even the head being fire and the sex being trash is still a no. It's still a imbalance. Yeah. It definitely <laughs> is. Like, it definitely that's is. what that is. <laughs> so, Girl. in that case, a lot of the things that you No. A couple of things that you said could be fixed. With the exception of a small dick, because there's nothing you can really do about that. Like, bitch, don't get me tight. I thought you was about and to I say some shit. Video. I'm like... What, a strap? But they put a strap Wait, on. what? <laughs> I thought, no. Hey, niggas be Y'all know straps? niggas, no. And I'm not going to lie. I know hey, somebody yo. personally, and I hope he not watch. Well, I'm not saying your name, but I know somebody personally who dead ass use a strap a, a nigga with his bitch. Uses- yes, I know somebody personally. That's mad crazy. <laughs> it's niggas that do that. Listen, not, it's niggas that use what, it, not bro? even like, because think about it. Double penetration is the thing. So niggas you might as well scissor. Sex. Let's scissor too. <laughs> like, let's scissor too since you want to do all that. I, and if he watching this, I really hope he dies. That's crazy. But yes, he definitely do. And he posts about it on his close friends. <laughs> Wait, what? That's a whole different topic. He should have kept that in the drafts. <laughs> nah, but mad crazy. you know what? We do not kink shame. This not this turned you into a sex shame? podcast. Kink shame, you know, some people they just have their things. Oh, this is not a kink shame. He, just <laughs> it's just a shame. Because <laughs> why would you do that? See, I'm I'm gonna keep my, my he needs to use the strap. I'm glad he's using that though, but I'm just surprised. Because I thought that's what you was gonna say. Because that's the only other option I could see. If you know the dick not where it needs to be. I personally I wouldn't it, stick around for long enough to even get into like, a situation yeah, for like you, that. For me to even help you fix that situation <laughs> with getting a trap, I would have been left. Like, I'm not about to find a way. <laughs> All right, so we're going to pivot to your music career because, like you said, you've been making music since 2018. Mm-hmm. You're doing your thing. You're putting your shit out. Mm-hmm. I Don't Trap is a bop. Mm-hmm. Let me know, like, how did that start? How did rapping start? Yeah. I've always been rapping. I always will write and all that. But I got into the studio, like, mm-hmm. really started taking it serious 2018. Mm-hmm. And since then, I've really been just like, you know what? Like, I fuck with this shit. Like, okay. So, is it something that you <laughs> take serious? Because I want you to set the record straight here. Is music, do you take music seriously? Yes, I take music very seriously. Mm-hmm. I had a, I took, like, a break from it mm-hmm. because of COVID. Like, but before the pandemic and stuff mm-hmm. i was performing i was doing a lot but it really kind of slowed down i even slowed down on it and just been like you know but now i'm like back in my music bag i'm not playing mm-hmm. with none of these bitches like i'm gonna be <laughs> realistic here uh-huh this is real shit okay good so who are your like inspirations if you have any like who do you look up to when it comes to music i love nikki of Period. course for mm-hmm. you you know that 
Um, I love Kim, little Kim, mm-hmm. and I fuck with Aaliyah really bad. Like, okay, like really bad. That's my girl. But honestly, I feel like my I can't really put like my faves and stuff into like three. Like I listen to everything. I listen to all types of music. Yeah, like I'm really like you a music junkie. Like I go crazy. Like anything that is just you know. Mm-hmm. That's, I'm on it. Okay. Yeah. So, you said Nikki. Of course, we know the Queen Mix Please. just came out. What was your thoughts on that? The Queen Mix was fire. I thought you said some other shit. The Queen Mix was <laughs> fire. That shit was mad hard. Like, I'm just like, like, we didn't, we haven't gotten that in a while. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Just the girls going back to back on the track. I right. just, I loved it. Yeah. Who do you think had the best verse on there? Don't say Nikki, of course. But who do you think had the best verse on there? Um... Uh, I like Malibu's. I, I can't. Hmm. I like Malibu's part. I mm-hmm. love how Malibu's part went into Nikki's. That's why it's just so that part, yeah. that right there was delicious to me. It was that served like it did. Oh my god! I that say was hard. I was very surprised by Akbar. I was. Her part was, was fire too. Cause when we that heard it for the first time, no shade. I. We was like, I never heard her music, so it's like I, I don't know if yeah, I was supposed to be surprised. I, or I think, but, but I think that's good. the reason why I was surprised because I never really heard haven't heard her music yeah. like that. So to hear that she was on a Nicki track, it was yeah. like, Whoa. but I've always seen on social media that that Nicki fuck with her. I've always seen that, but I was yeah. surprised that Nicki actually pulled on the right, song, and that's though. that's what it was. And but she that's ate. real bit shit. I feel she, like. A mm-hmm. and I she think did. I'm glad she gave her that opportunity too to shut mm-hmm. bitches the, the fuck up. Cause mm-hmm. every time you see Aquar name, you see bitches on her dick. Mm-hmm. So I'm glad she got that out she the got way. Her time. Like she you say some shit, her. you can't really say no shit. It's nothing to say. It's quiet. Ain't no back talk. Yo, Cause not only no was she shit. on the Nikki song, but she ate, ate it. it. Like don't she say nothing to ate. her no more. No funny shit. Dead Dead ass. Ass. <laughs> and you see what she said? Cause now she caught a feeling herself. A yeah, and she that she shook though. She said she manifested the Beyonce track and Drake gonna be her step. What she said, her ste- her baby stepfather and her husband. <laughs> Let's slow down there. <laughs> but <laughs> take but a nah, shout, oh, out to, shout out to I because she really oh, yeah, did she that. body that. So um, who are you listening to right now? Like who, when you get in the car, like who are you playing first? Mm, get in the car. First thing I'm playing. <laughs> Damn, I listen to so. I'm gonna play Doja. I love Doja. I love Doja. Do you consider Doja to be a rapper? Yeah, a pop like a pop rap. Like she, I feel like she has her own little genre. Mm -hmm. She does. She has a. I like it, but yeah, she could. Some yeah, (laughs) I think so. Pop rap. Period. Yeah, she. She definitely. I feel like maybe she created her uh, her own lane within the rap. Uh, scene because she is a rapper but like you said she's very poppy mm-hmm. but we can't take away from the fact that she did that's got bars she her pen yeah, works she be talking her pen shit. definitely work what do you think about like the music scene in new york is there anybody in new york you fucking with you listen to uh i fuck with lola brooke mm-hmm, mm-hmm. i fuck with her um i fuck with with the girls, the girls be doing anything. I fuck with that. They definitely ice girl. doing anything. You thought I was feeling you? Yeah, she's mm-hmm. cute. I fuck with her too. Mm-hmm. What's that other girl too from the Bronx? Which one? It's a lot of them. You got Kenzo. The Kenzo girl, I like yeah, her. Yeah, we like Kenzo. Shout out to Kenzo. I like her. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I want to see more. Huh? Mm-hmm. No, for sure. Yeah. Okay. And then, what are your thoughts just on the hip hop scene in general? What are you? Anything hot takes on what you think music is like right now? Mm, I think I think hip hop is in a good place right now. The girls is doing what they gotta do. Absolutely. I feel like that. I feel like the bitches is going harder than the niggas. Like no shade. I don't even think that's debatable. I think <laughs> that's what that is. <laughs> but yeah, and I love that. No funny shit. You mm-hmm. gotta really look at the history of being a black female in America and now, and just be like. Oh shit! Like we really doing our thing, like, mm-hmm. and I really I look at that shit every day, mm-hmm. just in the rooms that I be in, you know, like just the shit that I be doing. I just be thinking to myself, like, niggas is really paving the way, like, Absolutely. no funny shit. That shit is crazy. And you know what? 
what I think is so interesting about you and what I really shout you out for is what you just said. Yes, being a woman in the industry, but you're also a dark skinned woman mm -hmm. in the industry. And we know how colorism plays a big part in the way that mm -hmm. people are kind of like shine light on the attention that they get. At least I think so. And mm -hmm. I think that that's a popular opinion. Mm -hmm. Um how has that been for you? Well, for one, do you consider yourself to be a dark skinned woman? Because I don't. What are you talking about? Listen, <laughs> fuck. Listen before you say before you say that. <laughs> there is like, there's a lot of confusion sometimes with like what is dark versus brown. You know, I don't want to hear all that nonsense. I'm not even gonna lie. Listen, don't you don't even gotta go because you it. said because you said you know what you said. You looked at me like I was crazy. I don't want to be like, yeah, dark skinned woman, this and that. And you like, well, actually, I don't consider myself to be. A dark but that's woman. stupid. I feel like that. I feel like bitches that do that is kind of weird. It's like, that's yeah, kind of weird that you have to so. pause and be like, actually, no, I'm a couple shades lighter than you think. Mm -hmm. Like, no, you're actually sick up here. Like, <laughs> like actually, I'm like well, a burnt like, caramel. Like, what the like, fuck are you no. talking about? That's a, I feel like that's an inner issue, too. Mm -hmm. Um. <clears throat> But I say all of that to say, how has it been um, just being a darker skinned woman in the industry? Have you noticed anything different than, you know, your lighter skinned peers? Or has it just been I mean, smooth sailing? I don't hang around weirdos. So it's like I, I, I don't be witnessing too much. Mm -hmm. You feel me? But I, I peep certain shit, not even just with me, but other people's situations. Mm -hmm. I look at that. I just be like, yeah. That's because she's a little darker. That's why. Mm -hmm. You feel me? But I'm glad. I've never been in no situation where I just feel like I feel violated because on some shit mm -hmm. in the industry. Yeah, that that would be. I will check somebody, please. You will hear about that, <laughs> babes. I'm not going to lie to you. You will hear about I that. I mean, and you really doing your thing. And I think that's, it's also great for representation purposes. Exactly. Because a lot of people say that they don't give opportunities to women who have darker skin and stuff. So it's good for people who want to get out there. Mm -hmm. You know, they see, pe they see people like you or like JT, for example, like y'all yeah. doing y'all thing. I'm losing my voice over here. I hear it. I'm like, okay. <laughs> and it's like, you know, shout outs to y'all because y'all really making it happen. So, speaking of JT, though, you know, you was in X for a Reason, the mm -hmm. video with her and Summer Walker. That was dope. Mm -hmm. How did that come about? How did you, how did that link up happen? Well, Summer's manager, um, he had made a post or whatever. One of my friends sent it to me and he was like how he was looking for somebody to um, do like a video or whatever for the song. And I was like, oh, okay, let me mm -hmm. check it out. So he wanted me to pull up to the shoot and like make a video with Summer and JT, like a TikTok or something for the song. Mm -hmm. But like the director, um, she had seen me and she was just like, is she gonna be in the video? And, she, and he was like, do you want to be in the video? I'm like, put me in the video. Like, what are you talk about if I want to be in the video? Like, <laughs> that's what that is now. Right. Like, fuck the TikTok. So then I ended up just being in the video. And how was it? It, it was, was fun. It was lit. It looked like a good time. It was lit. Yeah, it was fun. JT's mad sweet. Summer's mad sweet. Mm -hmm. Everybody's just, it was a vibe. So I know that, like, you were in there. I also saw, like, Desi Banks was in there, too. So mm -hmm. I was like, okay, they got the comedian mm -hmm. up in there. That was dope. Do you consider yourself to be a comedian? What do you what do you consider yourself consider, to be? Other people will consider me to be a comedian, but mm -hmm. honestly, if you know me, you know that's not what I am. Like you just be talking about because I would never do like stand up or like I'm just a naturally funny person. Mm -hmm. Like I really just be talking my shit. Like it if you're like if you know me personally, like I said, you know this is uh, everyday me. Right. Like, I can I I turned on the camera and doing them camera and just started making money from it. Like, right. that's just what that happened. Right. You feel me? And that must be, like, a great feeling, too, to just be able to make money doing, like, what you love yeah. to do. So, okay. So, you, like, in your own, you're just doing your own thing. Did you see, um, we had an interview with Zeddy Well not too long ago, and he did, like, brackets for mm -hmm. comedians, and you were a part of it. I don't know that if you saw our brackets. So, it was basically, like, who do you think is funnier, this person Oh, or this I think that. I did see it. Somebody tagged me in there. Mm -hmm. What did you think about that? I didn't think nothing. <laughs> you didn't think nothing at all? You wasn't, like, happy? Was it? Wait, who is that? He's, a, like, an Instagram comedian. He's funny. He makes videos. He does content. 
And so he was saying the option he had was like you or Drewski, who he thought I was funny, that. and he picked you. And he said you look good. So he was. She like, want me to jump up and scream. I, I think. don't. It was just like you know, cause <laughs> now that was to get your recognition, so. and it was like what he said too. He was like, you know, the reason why he voted for you was because you just be talking, like you be saying real shit. You look mm-hmm. good. You know, you're doing your job. Juski funny too. So, no shade. Juski is very funny. Juski be having me in tears. I ain't gonna lie. Absolutely. Um, but yeah, but yeah, I, I like you. that though. Mm-hmm. I like that. Not that I want I'm, you I'm to not gonna to lie, and I was a little surprised by you too because you know everybody loves Juski. He got more followers than me, type shit. But I don't think it really be about that sometimes. It so. don't, mm-hmm. and that's just the impact that you have. You know, no, that ass though. So, what is your relationship like with like? the comedians do you link up with them ever do y'all are you i'm not cool gonna lie i'm not really a collaborative person when it comes to stuff like that i know people be seeing like how comedians be linking up and doing shit mm-hmm. but mm, i don't really be doing shit like that i saw you with tabina yeah I, <laughs> yes because I, <laughs> me too, me too. i love tabina <laughs> i'm like i i was i had to uh-huh. i reached out Oh, for to real? Tubby, yeah, I reached out to Tubby. Oh, shit, that was lit. And yeah. that, that was funny. I'm like, first of all, we got... Because I be seeing in his videos how he just be having the extra girls in the back. I'm like, nah, I want to be that extra girl. <laughs> but you wasn't even an extra. You was, I know, we actually main. came up with some shit. That was good. That was good. And Terry that is mad funny. funny. Shout out to him. <laughs> what are your thoughts on, like, the whole TikTok thing? You feeling it? Are you, like... What do you mean? Like, just... Being on TikTok, creating content on TikTok, I know, like, a lot of your presence is heavily on, like, Instagram. Mm-hmm. Um, so, is that your favorite platform? Do you see yourself moving over to I'd TikTok? I be on TikTok. You be on TikTok. Yeah, but I don't but, be, like, I'll post and then get off the app. Like, right. I don't really be on that shit that much, but I don't feel like there's really a need to be on TikTok that much because they don't pay me. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like No, I feel that. That ass. It's lit. Like, you could get da 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 but it's like the yeah like I hear a lot and plus of TikTok ain't t- no let me not get into the Ooh. TikTok no get into it sis I want to hear what you gotta say I don't know too much but I know that <laughs> there was some funny shit going on with black creators oh TikTok. absolutely no talk about it because that definitely was and is still a thing so you're absolutely right See? and if you getting your money so from what's Instagram who gives a fuck if I'm really on TikTok then? absolutely but if it y'all don't get, make y'all, money my you page is there and y'all can still get a key out of TikTok no shade mm-hmm, mm-hmm. so um, how is it just overall just like seeing everybody that comments on your posts everybody that shows you love like we talked about before mm-hmm. everybody fuck with you is there anybody that has like surprised you that like has shown you love at all throughout your career? Yeah, I'd be surprised. I'd be surprised by a lot of the people that be showing me love. Of course, um, SZA was surprising. Mm-hmm. But, like, I feel like all the black girls love me. So, at this point, I know that if you black and you a real bitch, <laughs> you fuck with me. And right. that's just how that goes. That right. is. So, for somebody who's trying to come up and... They look at you for inspiration. What would be something that you would tell them, like a tip that you would give to them to kind of like get to where you are or close to where you are? I would say be yourself and stay consistent and believe in your craft because a lot of people, they will have it in their head. They will think about it and they hesitate on it and Mm -hmm. they just they just think the worst. Like you really got to believe in yourself. Like, if you don't believe in yourself, nobody else is going to believe in you. Like, you that can't part. make people believe in you without believing in yourself first. And a lot of people be having it twisted on that. Mm-hmm. That's, that's, that's where it word. starts. You got to really push yourself. You got to really tell yourself, like, I'm going I'm to do it. Mm-hmm. Like, I'm going to be there because I, I, I believe I'm going to be there. Right. That's where it starts. So what keeps you motivated to keep posting consistently and to do that? <laughs> the posting thing is literally something I cannot stop doing. <laughs> So I know people, just come people be telling me to like don't ever stop. Like, like oh, I won't. That's the reason why I won't even stop because the <laughs> bitches don't want me to. And it's like I can't stop. Like you feel me? Like I, I'm always gonna have something to say. Mm-hmm. Like this is me. This is my personality. It's like there's no turn it on. You feel me? I don't have to camera on new person. No, this is me. Mm-hmm. So I'm gonna always do that as long as I got a fucking fault. And I don't turn into a hobo on the streets. Bye. <laughs> Bye. I'm always going to post a fucking video. There's no reason why. Like, I'm always going to have a phone, so I'm always going to post. Like, uh-huh. 
That's it. Okay. <laughs> so we see you indoors. We see you making your videos and stuff like that. What's your social life like outside, off camera? Off camera, I love to travel. I love to go out with my friends. I love to get lit. Mm -hmm. You know I me. Mean? I I'm a regular regular girl. Like mm -hmm. <laughs> I, I I would say I like to go shopping, but I don't really like to be in malls like that. So yeah, me either. I'm an online lie. girl. So when it comes to friends, are you like no new friends? You got the friends you got. Are you like when you meet people now? Are you still willing to have friends? Yeah, I'm open like? to new friends. Yeah, okay. I'm not one of them bitches that's just like. But I I can say. I'm I'm a you little distant. Yeah, I'm a little. Yeah, exactly. I'm very selective with my friends. You but have to be. I know the vibes and shit off rip. Mm -hmm. If I don't, I'm gonna learn later on. But I'm real selective with my friends, and I I love the group of friends that I have right now. Okay, that's good. And then when it comes to dating, what about that? What's your dating life looking like? <laughs> you that <is> funny? <laughs> well, I literally just I'm chilling. I ain't really. A, <laughs> I ain't really like. <laughs> Not too much. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, I, I'm fucking with somebody, but, like, that's that's cool. Yeah, okay. like, like that's it. Like, I'm not going to go too much into it. Like, it's it's cool right now. Okay. So, what are, like, things that you look for in the people that you date? Um, I look for a nigga with a personality, a mm -hmm. nigga with a bag. Mm-hmm. Period. Nigga with his shit together, know what he want to do. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Cause you can't raise a man. <laughs> Talk about it, sis. <laughs> <laughs> no, that ass though. I'm saying though, like, even if you don't have it all figured out, at least have a fucking goal. At least know what you want to do. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, don't be fucking confused on life. Like, <laughs> does your nigga have to make more money than you? Oh my god, I've been getting this question so much. <laughs> I'm so curious. Yo, like, this is the top question. Of really? The year is something. it? Yes. So what's the answer? But I, <laughs> to a certain extent, like, I, if I'm making more money than the nigga, I don't want to know that I'm making more money than him. Okay. Like, you, yeah, like, don't ever show me signs. I get that. Of you are struggling and need money from me. <laughs> Like, babe, can you cash at me like $50? That. Can you cash at me $50 for real quick? See, that's where we get it twisted. <laughs> if you start showing the signs and symptoms of me that's making more sign. money than you, I don't like that. Signs and symptoms is mad funny. Um, what about, because you said personality. What about, like, does your nigga have to be funnier than you? Or are you cool with your nigga not really being I mean, funny? I like a nigga that's funny, but, like, he don't got to be funnier than me. Like, you feel mm -hmm. what I'm saying? But I like a nigga that understand my humor, though. Right. Like, at least if you if you catch my little jokes and shit like that, mm -hmm. I like that. But you okay. got to be funnier than me. Like, the okay. fuck? We don't need you being mad fucking funny all day. Like, relax. Like, <laughs> <laughs> how you say that? <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just joking. You don't know <laughs> So, how do you balance, though, like, your social life and your, like, career now? Oh, my God. <clears throat> Girl, we've been talking chit-chatting. Yeah, we're going to wrap this up a little sip. bit. <laughs> mm. How do you balance your social life and um, your career? Um, I mean, they kind of, it's kind of like one in the same now. Mm-hmm. Because people that I work with, people that I meet while working and stuff like that, it's like they're a part of my social life and shit. But mm -hmm. even like my friends that I've grew up with and shit, I still be making time for them. But it be hard, you know, just to try to chill with my friends that I grew up with. It be, but we be trying. Everybody has their own shit going on. But I'm glad that like I have other friends mm -hmm. that are just involved in the same work that I'm in where we we could be working and chilling at the same time. You know right, what I'm saying? Right, right, right. So when you think about like what the end goal is for you with all of this, like where would you like to see yourself ultimately? I would like to see myself in a big ass fucking mansion, a okay, fucking period. billionaire, lit as fuck. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Feel me? But I, I would say I want to get into acting. Oh, yeah. okay. I love she that. Wants to get into acting. Acting. That would be fun. That's okay. like something that I want to 
Mm, my way in. <laughs> okay, clearly she meant that because we got a little dance and everything. Okay, so acting, have you been like trying to get into it yet, or is it just something? Yeah, you I've been doing really? like castings and stuff. Okay, I gotta get into acting classes. I we gotta do that. But I, I've been getting, I've been getting castings here and there. Okay, that's dope. That's dope. So you say you want to live in a mansion? Like, where would you want to live? Mm, I can't. You know what? Me, I feel like I can't stay in one place. So it won't like, be the A. So one of the places that I would get a a mansion in. <laughs> oh, okay. You would have I'm multiple. Lit. I'm having multiple mansions. Right. <laughs> nah. okay. All right. What's one of the places? But one of the places I'll get a crib in is LA. I'll definitely get a crib in LA, New York, and Miami. Mm-hmm. But I really love to travel. Like I I need to travel the world. So mm-hmm. I won't be in any of those places that much. Okay, period. <laughs> so you gonna be lit and everything, you still gonna be making music? Mm-hmm. So who would I'm be gonna make music? Who would be like? Wait, okay. Are you, I know you say you don't collab a lot, but if you were to collab with somebody, like, what's that collab that when you get, it's really like, yo, I really did this shit. Like, I really, girl, you know, I know what, what you're gonna say, she's, Nikki, she's Nikki, Nikki. She's being ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, hey, you never know. Badass. It could have been anybody. That's All right. Damn. So let us know, like, what you got coming up. What you working on? Right now, I'm working on a single. I'm about to drop a single with a music video. And then after that, you guys should be expecting a project. Yes. A Ooh, project. A project. Thing with a rollout and multiple songs. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, as it should. <laughs> is that yes. this year? Is this like- no? That'll be. I'm not gonna give a date. Okay, that'll be soon. All actually. right, you keeping us on our toes. That'll be soon, but the single will be out next month. I would say next month. I would say next month. Is the single coming out with the video? Or is it yes, it's coming single? out with the video. We're excited. I love that. Can you give us any hints? Like what kind of? Vibe I actually we dropped in? a little snippet on my page. You guys could check it out. Okay. Okay. Check Told out girlfriend. girlfriend. It's a it's a um Avril Lavigne sample. Love One her. of my favorite fucking songs. We all love girlfriend. Hey hey. We all love. Girlfriend, that's one of my favorite songs. Mm-hmm, so, mm-hmm. Yeah, okay. Sure. Well, is there anything else that you want to talk about? I know we covered a lot, but is there anything else that you want to talk about? Clear up, set the record straight on before we wrap it up? Nothing. I got to check anybody about. Everybody's been behaving. I know. I <laughs> say that. <laughs> As y'all should. <laughs> All right. So make sure you shout out your Instagram, your socials, so that anybody that want to tap in that's not already tapped in knows where to find you. You guys can find me at I am Cleo Trapper on Instagram. Type in Cleo Trapper on Apple Music, Spotify, and everything else is Cleo Trapper, bitch. That girl. You know me. Period. Thank you for stopping by. It was good to have you. And, I mean, we're going to be looking out for everything else that you got coming, yes, sis. girl, as you should. All right, y'all. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you. Adios.